This channel is for adults and not for kids. Hey guys, thanks for stopping back by. So tonight I've got a cool little monster to show you guys. I went to Target and I found one of their Target exclusive Super 7 Godzilla figures. Um, this is that new line that Super 7 is making called Super Kaiju. Um, this is Godzilla 89, which is my favorite Godzilla suit. Um, I think they cost too much, though. Um, for what you get. Let me, well, you know what? Let me show you. This is, so this is the box. They had Godzilla and they had uh, Mecha Godzilla. And I thought these things were like 20 bucks each. So I threw both of them in my shopping cart. Um, and then when I got up to the register, I found out they were like $36 each. And I was like, well, fuck that. Um, <laughs> yeah, way too expensive for what you get. This is like a little four, maybe five inch tall little Godzilla figure. And tomorrow is Friday. And when I go back to work tomorrow, I'm going to put this little guy in my cabinet of sanity. He's just the right size for your desk at work. Um, they are cool little figures, but the emphasis is on the word little. Um, and they cost too goddamn much. Like I said, he's about four and a half to five inches tall. Um, here he is next to their, uh, Super 7's Ultimates Gojira 1989. And you can see the height difference. I love these damn Super 7 Ultimate... Godzilla figures. I think they're super cool. And this is like his little brother. This is like a perfect sized, big, chunky, heavy toy. These new ones are like desk, you know, toy, oh shit, toys to have at your desk at work, which is exactly what I'm going to do with them. Hey, could you stay in one spot? That would be fucking cool. Um, now let's see. Sculpt wise, doesn't look too bad. They did a good job on him. Um, unlike the larger ultimates this one has a movable jaw which is pretty damn cool the larger ones don't um so that's neat the larger ones you get a swappable head what the fuck what the fuck is that oh really what the fuck is that yo is a piece of his fucking nose coming off what the fuck? Maybe that was just a... Where did that come off of? Maybe that was just like a little piece of flash off of his nose. Oh, I was about to get pissed there for a second. Yeah, that came off his little nosy right up there. Um... Now, what the fuck was I saying? Um, they have some articulation. Look, 
I knew going into this that these things were going to be just glorified versions of their reaction figures. So I wasn't expecting a whole hell of a lot. But I really <laughs> did not like the price that these things were. Um, he's got articulation. So they have more articulation than the reaction figures. Um... So this is a perfect figure to go in between your reaction figures and the ultimates. This is like the perfect in the middle. He's a littler figure like the reaction figures, but he's got a little bit more articulation and a little bit better sculpting like the ultimates. He does have a rubber bendy tail. Yeah, if these things were 20 bucks a pop, I would not have batted an eye at picking up the two of them. But, uh, yeah, like 35, 36 bucks. It's a little too much for what you get. <laughs> yeah, it was funny. Um, the cashier was ringing me up and bloop, they scanned the Godzilla and I saw it came up. It was like $35.99 or $34.99, whatever. And then I looked and I go, whoa, how, how much is that? And he was like, $34.99. And I go, okay, well, I'm just going to get that one then. I don't want the silver one. <laughs> and I put Mega Godzilla back. Um, cause yeah, that's damn near $40. Um, I definitely think these things are at too high of a price point for what you get. Do I like it? Yeah. It's a cool looking little figure that will look nice on my desk with all my other little Godzillas, but does it look like a $40 figure? Nope. Uh, you know, a $36 figure? No. It looks like a $20 figure. He is cool, though. I'll give him that. It's, it's a nice-looking little Godzilla 89. Um, the thing is is this line feels like this is Super 7 trying to make it, trying to break into the um, kids market. Or, you know, Super 7 is more of like a niche market as far as like, you know, they've got adult collectors. And, uh, you know, you're used to paying a higher price for their Thundercats and their Silverhawks and their Ultimates figures. You know what you're signing up for. But these are like littler and they're sold at Target, which is a, a huge corporation. And they're sold in the toy aisles. So it feels like they're trying to reach out and get like a younger audience. But I'm telling you. Damn near $40 a figure is not the way to do it. What they should have done is they should have, you know, had these at more of like a $19.99, like a $20 range. And then mom and dad wouldn't feel bad about throwing these in the cart for little Timmy to take home and play with and beat the shit out of and, you know, roll them around in the dirt and stuff like you would do if you were a little kid like i i don't know what market they're trying to aim for here like if they're aiming for the adult collectors this doesn't really feel like forty dollars
I'm not having buyer's regret or anything. I do like the little figure. He's cool. It's just that <clears throat> sometimes it feels like I don't know if Super 7 knows what fucking direction they're going in. You know? <clears throat> and I buy a lot of Super 7 stuff. I like them as a company. I like the products they put out. But man, sometimes it's like, who's in charge? Like, <laughs> who's driving this thing? Like, it doesn't seem like they know exactly, you know... I don't know their business model or what strategies they 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 take. It doesn't feel like they know what the fuck they're doing. Sometimes. These larger ones. I really, really like the way these things turned out. And I'm all too happy to pay a higher price premium price for these they're big they're chunky they're heavy they're toyetic they're sculpted by the four horsemen they've got good detail to them they're fun they feel like large heavy monster toys very toyetic and i know that they're being sold towards collectors people that actually have jobs and pay the money for these things these, I feel like they're going for more of a kitty market, but they're too high priced for kitty marketed items. You know? I don't know. Whatever. I, I'm just bitching now. I'm bitching because uh, I, I think it, it costs too much. I really wanted to pick up the two of them, and I... For the price of one of these, you know, I thought I was going to, I thought for 40 bucks I was going to get two figures and that they could square off on my desk at work. But shit, just one of them was close to $40. So that kind of left a bad taste in my mouth. The other thing that I wasn't too thrilled about is um, I had read that they come with little smashed up buildings well <sighs> fucking super seven he only comes with half a building half a smashed up building and the other half of said building is in mecha godzilla's package so even if you get the two figures, you you only get one little building to smash down. So, you know, for the price of one of these, I really think they should have included, like, at a minimum, three buildings per figure. Three little cheap hollow buildings, you know, for the price. If you're charging me 40 fucking dollars, 30, you know, $36, I should get three buildings, maybe a couple of little fucking tanks. I don't need little, you know, armies of screaming Japanese people, although that would be awesome to have little civilians. They're not going to do that. But a couple little cars or, you know, Mazer tanks or just normal tank tanks. Um, or some army jeeps and like three or four buildings per figure. That I would say, okay, $36.99, I could see that. That would be an easier pill to swallow than half a fucking building and a $36 price point. I don't know. Am I just am I just a grumpy old man? about this or does this make sense to you guys too i mean it's a it's a cool little monster toy you know i love godzilla you guys know that the 89 godzilla is my favorite godzilla and of course i was gonna buy this thing but man i just think for the for that price tag 
this ain't it. They, there should be more to it. This, this, and this look like $20 to me at the most. This looks like, you know, $19.95. Um, yeah, you know, uh, <laughs> take me out to dinner. Talk dirty to me. Tickle it, you know? <laughs> I mean, if you're going to fuck me, I want to at least enjoy it. Don't, you know, don't just, uh, don't just raw dog me, you know, <laughs> for $20. <laughs> you know, for 40 bucks. Uh, yeah, should have come with more fucking buildings and some little tanks, maybe a couple little jets. It, or, you know, at least a little fucking cardboard diorama thing that fits in the box that looks like a bunch of smashed up buildings. Maybe you could, you know, do something fun with the packaging and have like a cityscape and you can put the two boxes together and it looks like a little destroyed cityscape. And you can have all the little buildings and the the tanks and shit, make it worth the money and find out who your audience is. If you're gearing this towards adults, then throw in more shit that adults want that adults are going to lump down the fucking money. Or if you're making it for kids, then you can get away with fucking Mickey Mouse, you know, no accessories and, but don't charge fucking premium prices. $36 for for a, a little kid toy? That's crazy. So yeah, I I guess that's what I, my takeaway is. Is like, I don't know who this is being marketed to. The adult kaiju collector? Or for little kids? If this is geared for little kids, it costs too fucking much. If it's geared for adult collectors... You're not including enough shit. You need to make this worth my fucking money. That's what I'm saying. Is he sculpted nice? Is it a cool little toy that I will look up and when I see him at my desk at work, will I smile? Yes. But also in the back of my mind, I'll be like, man, that fucking figure costs $36. Jesus Christ. So, I don't know. If maybe you guys don't care about the price and I just sound like a angry old man shaking my fist up at the sky. But um yeah, that's my little review of the Super 7 Super Kaiju Godzilla 1989. Um if you're a Godzilla fan, like I'm a Godzilla fan, I guess I recommend it. But just know that you're going to feel like you probably didn't get your money's worth. There should be more to it for the price. All right, guys, I'll be back with some more monsters very, very soon. Hang in there. Take it easy. <laughs> Happy Halloween.